When I first started using computer design, I was asked to one of the first jobs I had. I was asked to actually place a wall or draw a wall in, in plan view. And so I set about it religiously. I'm picking my uh, linear element tool and uh, drawing a line of run of wall, X amount. Now, if you'll excuse my XM parlance here, I'm just going to do this very quickly instead of having to do this back in five version five that I started in. And then I just simply copied parallel to a distance of 102.5 for the outer brickwork and then for a distance of 80 for my uh, cavity wall gap and then 100 millimeters for my interior concrete block and there was my wall or my facsimile of a wall at the plan view and then I had to go and draw the elevation then possibly the section that goes with it and everything else that goes with it. With the advent of BIM we've been able to change this remarkably and very very quickly so that in this case I can actually I can come here with my composite wall and draw my run of wall straight away knowing that as I pass my cursor over it I get a lot more information than I would if it was in two just two dimensions with linear lines arcs and circles I now actually get some of the properties ie height width length thickness part family etc and I can build upon those as I wish so I have all of that information but one of the things that really lacked for me and one of the things that I would really just wish to have was the ability to present this to a client or to my children or to anybody, my bosses even, in a rendered form. Because one of the big drawbacks of using two dimensions is that while we've been using it for many, many centuries, it does have certain drawbacks, i.e. you don't know how high that wall is. You have to put a separate note and then have to figure out the elevation, etc. Whereas with BIM, I can literally just come in here and you can see straight away, as I rotate this around, I have got my height, my width, my length, and my run. But then again, this just starts turning into a massive uh, wireframe model, which I didn't want. So how do I do this? Well, quite simply, that uh, in Bentley Architecture anyway, um, we can actually start rendering the parts as we see them. How do we do that? Well, depending on your database and how you set it up, you can always come into display mode smooth and when you've done that you can see very quickly that we have block work with its perps and its beds as well we have brickwork at its perps and beds at the right size and the right shape now I can start designing in this mode because what I can do now is that I can back to my composite wall and I can actually start designing off this we can return on it and it knows where it is and then with just a minor amount there, just because we had two separate walls, with just a minor amount of fixing up, you can see that I've now joined my exterior walls, and I could do the same with the interior walls, but at the same time, I'm designing in a rendered mode. How do I actually get there with Bentley Architecture? Well, this is how to do it. First of all, you go to the Triformer pull-down, you go down to the bottom of the Tools, and across the first one, which is Triformer Primary. Now, if you don't have it open, this is where it comes from. Now, this toolbar has a wealth of information, part, family, compound parts, levels, colors, etc. But what I want you to do now is to just select the toolbar and press the space bar. With that, that's a shortcut to open up Dataset Explorer. And Dataset Explorer is where we keep all the, the bits and bobs of our dataset, all of the dataset itself. So what I want to do here is actually want to come into all parts and the standard definition of them is that you see each and every single one of them. Let's come down to, let's say, my, my interior block work, which is 100 millimeter block work here. 100 millimeter block work, it's got its part, fat, it's got its part description, its level name, its color, style, weight, thickness, height, width, etc. What I need to know now, though is how do I get this to render? Well, it's quite simple. I come up to my parts view under which is definition and I drop down five options there to render properties, rendering properties. From now on, you see it's, it keeps with you in the view. It keeps the part and the description, but then replaces all the other columns with rendering columns. The start of which is render toggle and check it on, check it off. And that means the part is now rendered. To give you a quick idea. If we come down to a 100 millimeter block wall and we turn this off, what we can very quickly see, if we move this out of the way, is that our wall, what we've done now is that we've now just taken away the rendering of our wall. 
So what you can see here is I actually have a palette, a render palette attached, it's called masonry, and a render material column, I have the render of block wall. Now because I already have a palette attached, all I, if I want to change it, all I have to do is just click once, and the rest of the palette is made uh, visible for me to choose from. So I can choose, in this case, plaster or brick red as alternatives. But maybe the question you ask yourself is, how do I start that off anyway? Well, let's have a look at this level here, this part here. Part number 220, general internal walls, a generic one, but 400 millimeter concrete block wall. So we're going to select that one. First off, we're going to turn on the render toggle. Next, we're going to click just in this cell here. What this does now, it opens up a dialog box that allows us to now go in through navigate for whatever we need. What I'm going to do now is navigate through to my, my workspace, Triforma, to one of my databases or data sets I have here and down to my materials folder. And in that, you can see that I have some of the palettes there waiting for me. I'm going to choose masonry palette. And you can see straight away that I have block wall, brick red or plaster, just like the other ones. What happens if I want to change that? Just by clicking on it again, I can come back and change it to walls. And now I have a totally different set of options available for me. As you can see here, I have ceiling tile, CMU block, marble block, stone wall, stucco, wallpaper, wallpaper border in this case. So I'm going to choose stone wall, but I may not actually know what that looks like. So what I can do here is I can just right click on the highlighted area and go down to properties. I get a quick preview dialog box, which split into two. One is called assign material. The other half is preview. Uh, in the assign material half on the left hand side, you can see the options I have available to me for choosing them. On the right hand side, under the preview, I have shading and display. Display, personally I drop down to rectangular to see what I'm looking at. And now I can start scrolling through the various options down here. Stucco, wallpaper, wallpaper with a border. So I'm going to come back to stone wall here. Once I've done that, and once I've wanted that one, I can sort of say, just say, OK, that's fine. Now, when I click out of Dataset Explorer, it's going to ask me, do you want to actually save these changes? I'm going to say, yes, I do. So now what I need to do now is I need to come down to a single wall. That's my general in internal block work wall. Let's just move this out here. And now what I can do here is I... As I describe my walls. I'm actually getting the rendered finish of a stone wall placed onto my my part and the wall that I'm describing. If that's not suitable, it looks a bit dark, there's not a lot of definition there. Let's go back into here. Let's first hit escape. Let's do that. Let's hit the space bar again. Dataset Explorer opens up for us. 220. Let's go remember parts view, rendering properties. Let's go and see what we have here. Let's try stucco. And you can see just below here, the rendering is changing dynamically for me. So I can go through this. Marble, bit black today. CMU, mm. ceiling tile, brick red. I can always use brick red again, but I can always come down to wallpaper as well. So there you have it. That's how to attach parts, uh, rendering parts, to your actual parts in Bentley Architecture. And that gives you the ability of just having one solution to be able to do your design, your schematic design, construction, construction drawings, scheduling, reporting on, clash detection, class interference, design history, and also pump out uh, the rendered visualization at the end of the day without having to invest in any further expensive software, any further training, or paying a premium for anybody who's on the market to come and actually do them for you.